Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here to continue on with um, how to create better patches. Uh, this is kind of the second part of my uh, how to create a sweep in Thor tutorial and uh, basically what we have so far is um, a sweep that is governed by the velocity. If you um, press down very hard, there's no sweep. If you press down softly, however, get a nice little sweep. What I'm going to do is just turn up the decay a little bit. And you can also turn it up even more if you want. Okay, that's kind of nice. Um, however, let's just um, play around with this a little bit more. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the mod envelope, which is basically how we're creating our sweep, and I'm going to apply that to the resonance of the uh, low-pass filter here. So let's just raise it up a little bit. Let's apply that to the resonance of the first filter. And that gives a very focused sound, um, kind of a sharper sound. So that kind of um, gives a little bit more character, I guess. Um, now, the other thing you can do is we can use this uh, LFO to affect a few things. So what I'm going to do is take, let's see, um, before I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the first oscillator to a square wave. It's going to sound like this. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take LFO2 and I'm going to apply that by about, well, let's try 50 first, and we're going to apply that to the pulse width of the first oscillator. Okay, so that gives it a nice little character, and I'm going to change this to a square wave as well. Okay, so that gives it a nice little sound. And then what I'm also going to do is, uh, what do I want to do? Um, I'm going to take the MIDI key velocity, and I'm going to also apply that to the rate of LFO2. So now, when you play, play hard, or soft, got that low warble. Um, if you play it hard, so that kind of gives it some more character as well. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the chorus. Um, however, I'm going to make button 2 be the chorus, and this is kind of a common thing that I usually do. So turn the dry wet all the way down. Um, let's then take button, bu uh, button 2 and apply that to the chorus with an amount of about 70 and then we can turn the chorus on and off. Let's also remove the labels here. Alright, so with the chorus Okay, that's kinda nice. Let's see how it sounds with a triangle wave. Okay, that's kind of nice. Um, now let's see, what else can we do here? Um, I also want to try taking the shaper and let's apply, where is it, shaper, let's apply this by about 40 or so, 42, that sounds good, and apply it to the pitch and do the same thing, 42. to oscillator 2 pitch as well. And that is going to give it a little bit of character. Um, what we want to do is also, let's see, let's try soft clip. Let's just do that. Uh, maybe a little bit more. Okay, too much.
Okay. One other thing I'm going to do is um, this uh, LFO2 rate and the LFO2 going to the pulse width. I'm going to apply that to the mod wheel and I'm going to actually increase it a little bit. So let's hear it. Okay, so when you turn it down, there's no LFO2. So basically the mod wheel is going to control how much the LFO affects the pulse width of the first oscillator. Alrighty, and the other thing we can do is we can have the shaper controlling the pitch and put that on button 1 and then shaper to pitch. Okay, so there's a couple other little fun things you can do with this sweeper patch. Um, and of course we've got two other rotaries here that you can add other kind of interesting effects. You might want to try a glide if you, if you want to do something like that. Um, or you can play around with the, the mix between the two oscillators. Lots of fun to be had. So I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial. Again, I'm Rob and uh, you can come visit me at reason101.net to get more tips, tricks, tutorials, and all kinds of reason fun. Thanks for watching.